What is up guys, today is Saturday, October 16th, 2021, and I'm back with another break. Today we have a hobby box. This is actually H2 hybrid hobby box of uh, 2020 slash 21 Panini Chronicles Soccer. So from this year's collection, uh, it differs from the regular product in a couple of ways. First of all, the packaging being um, more than just a hint of blue, whereas the regular is just the full sandy kind of brown color. And uh, the format's the same. You get three mini boxes, one for each of the three leagues, uh, the big leagues that Panini has a license for and um, you'll get 15 cards per pack. Uh, the thing about H2 Hybrid is that you don't have guaranteed hits, however, you can get hits, and all of the hits are in the exclusive silver, gold, or black circles parallel. Um, so it's pretty cool, it's like a disco parallel, or a fast break in some sense. And um, you can get hits, a lot of these boxes don't have hits uh, in them, so like you might find an autograph or a relic every few boxes from what I've seen. And I purchased this one for, I think it was just 80, I think I purchased for $80 shipped um, off someone off Discord. And um, like you can get these on eBay for like 95 or so. And uh, the value is not great, but if you do pull something good, you can get some really cool stuff. Like I've seen, uh, I think the Ansu Fati one of one black circles autograph uh, for the Spectra set was pulled. Uh, so that was really cool. So it just gives you an idea of what can be pulled. So we're just gonna remove the shrink wrap and we got our three mini boxes inside. We're gonna put the box on the side right there. So we have Premier League first. So we'll just set these two back behind. And you guys can see the odds on the back. And uh, wish me luck. Let's see what we get in this box. one singular cello pack and uh, none of the parallels are numbered unless it's like a, a black circles which is a one of one I think gold should be out of ten or around that they're very short printed and the silvers are like more normal all right so we start with uh, Ivan Cavallero for Fulham prestige base and we have a Chronicles base of Donny van de Beek for Manchester United Aaron Ramsdale Panini base for Sheffield who's now, of course, Arsenal's starter. We got Ollie McBurney, rookie, prestige for Sheffield. Gabrielle, rated rookie, Donruss for Arsenal. Adam Webster Chronicles, base for Brian and Hove Albion. Ashley Westwood, Panini, base for Burnley. Our first parallel is going to be Silver Circles, prestige base, rookie of Jaffa Tanganga. Extra points for a parallel, and uh, it's for Spurs. Our next parallel is going to be a Silver Circles Nice of a certified base Mason Greenwood. That's fantastic. He did score a screamer today. Boom. Silver Circles. And then we have a, I guess, just a regular certified uh, of uh, Matt Phillips. And then regular elite of Douglas Louise and Golo Conte Illusions. Alan St. Maxman for uh, Newcastle Prison Base. Historic Ticket, not Contenders Optic, for uh, Ian Wright for Crystal Palace, and a select base of Lucas Fabianski for West Ham, which will go into my PC. So you do get um, two parallels on average per box, and we just got two silver uh, silver circles, or disco, uh, as some people like to call them, and then a stack of 13 base cards. So let's actually sleeve that up. The Greenwood is really nice, actually. And if you guys look at the back, there's no numbering or anything, but... That's the card for you. I do really like the parallels. All right, moving on, let's go to our La Liga mini box. Hopefully we'll get a hit in one of these. No fatty, so that means that we don't have a relic, but we could have an autograph. And also, they put the chrome cards in the back, as you guys can see from the separation of the bending. So we start off with Manu Vallejo, rated rookie Donruss, Alvaro Fernandez, Chronicles base rookie, Jordi Alba Panini base rookie, not rookie, just base, uh, Tete Morente rookie, prestige base, and then we have a Chronicles base of Gonzalo uh, Guedes, Portuguese international, uh, Adnan Yanizai, Panini base for Real Sociedad, and then we have a prestige base of Sean Weissman, rookie, for Valladolid. 
and our first parallel is going to be a Silver Circles uh, Chronicles base of Kennedy for Granada. And then our other parallel is going to be a certified Silver Circles of uh, Rodrigo Eli from, um, for Alaves. And then we move on to Illusions base of Carrillo. And then certified base of um, Janssen, rookie. Maryland Pjanic, elite base. And historic ticket of Iker Casillas for Real Madrid. Sweet. And then Fede Valverde select base and Facundo uh, Rancaglio spectra base. So not much there. And we do have our two parallels, so we'll sleeve them up as well. And then we'll move on to our final mini box, which is uh, Syria. So hopefully we can at least get one hit or non-silver circles, so like a gold. Or if we get really lucky, a black one of one. So we're putting all of our luck onto this final mini box, or also will have been a uh, very disappointing and average break, with the exception of uh, the Greenwood Silver Circles. Oh, and we do have a hit, I think. It's probably going to be a Treasured Threads Relic, but it could be the one-of-one one variant, so we could get a one-of-one one Cristiano Ronaldo um, National Treasures Triple Relic, which is the best best-case scenario out of this possible range of anything. And it's very, very thick. So we're gonna leave that to the end, actually. So let's start off with, um, all right, let's leave that in the back. Let's just start off with the two parallels, or we might only have one. Actually, we have two regular parallels. So we have a uh, Simi Nwanku, Nwankwo, uh, Chronicles, Rookie, Silver Circles. And then we also have a Silver Circles Elite base of uh, Wyland Cyprian, Rookie. And then we have Certified Bremer, uh, Elite Soriano, and then we have Illusions Grassi, Prism uh, Huchka, and Maxime Lopez, Rookie Ticket, Contenders Optic, and uh, select Joao Pedro to end that one off, and then we'll move on to our paper. So we got Mert Mulder, Rated Rookie, Gianluca Scamacca, Panini Rookie, Base, and then Prestige Base of Hacop uh, Hacopo Petri uh, Petricione. Patricione, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Arthur Ianita, Chronicles Base, Rookie. And Ilicic, Panini uh, Base. And then our final card before our hit is uh, Prestige Base for Diogo Dolo. And our hit is going to be, this is looking pretty good. Could this be Juventus? Could be Juventus. This, this is Ronaldo. Oh, it's Gianluigi Buffon. Wow, that's nice. So this is a, a National Treasures Treasured Threads Triple Relic card of Gianluigi Buffon, three color relics. And this is in the Silver Circle Parallels, uh, Silver Circle Parallel. And this is serial numbered 80 out of 99. And I think the highest numbering on the Silver Circle Parallel relics are 149. So Buffon's a bit of a short print, so that's really cool. Uh, so let's sleeve our two parallels up and then give a quick recap of the box. So I think overall this is um, about an average or maybe slightly above average box because we did get a hit, which is nice. And there are tons of rookies. Uh, we didn't get any other parallels other than silver circles, uh, which is, I mean, the one unfortunate thing about this box. But uh, apart from that, I can't really complain a lot because I'm really happy with that relic. Although if it was Cristiano Ronaldo, I would have freaked out a lot more. So we do get a stack of a bunch of base cards with an assortment of paper and chrome stock. And then our six normal parallels, I guess, from our two per mini box are here. Nothing big with the exception of the certified Greenwood, but of course not a rookie. And we did get one uh, hit, which is a National Treasures Treasured Threads Triple Relic of Gianluigi Buffon, Silver Circles, 80 of 99. So that is the box right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully this was informative about the H2 hybrid format. So you guys can decide for yourselves if you guys want to take the risk when ripping this product. Uh, I would still overall suggest the regular, uh, the regular format, but H2 is a fun rip and definitely you get a good amount of cards for a cheaper price. Although if you just wanted the number of cards, you could go for some retail seller packs. So yeah, that finishes up the video. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time. Peace.